Picture yourself in the dimly lit living room of a bygone era. The black and white screen crackles to life, and the iconic theme music heralds the arrival of a masked hero ready to right the wrongs of the world. It was 1957, and Zorro had come to grace our television screens. The swashbuckling adventures of this dashing vigilante left an indelible mark on our collective memory. As you recall that first encounter with Zoro, perhaps you can't help but smile at the memories of those exhilarating sword fights, the suspenseful secret identity, and the undeniable charm of the man behind the mask. But now, let's delve into some random facts about this classic TV series that you might not know. From the show's unexpected influence on pop culture to the fascinating behind-the-scenes stories, Zoro's world was filled with secrets and surprises waiting to be uncovered. So, prepare to be enchanted once more by the magic of Zorro as we reveal the hidden gems of this beloved classic. The 1957 TV series Zorro is a timeless classic that has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Inspired by the pulp fiction character Zorro, this show was a swashbuckling adventure set in Spanish-ruled California during the early 19th century. The series revolves around Don Diego de la Viga, a wealthy aristocrat who secretly becomes the masked vigilante Zorro to fight for justice, and the downtrodden. Guy Williams portrayed the titular character with charisma and charm, making Zorro an iconic hero. The show's unique blend of action, humor, and romance, along with Zorro's signature masked and caped appearance, became instantly recognizable. Zoro was celebrated for its cunning swordplay, acrobatics, and Zoro's iconic Z-mark carved with his rapier. The series' catchy theme music added to its memorable charm. The show's impact on popular culture is undeniable, influencing subsequent swashbuckling heroes and the concept of dual identities. Zoro's enduring legacy is a testament to the show's enduring appeal, as it continues to captivate new generations through various adaptations in film, TV, and literature. Zorro remains a symbol of justice, daring, and the enduring power of storytelling, etching its place in the annals of television history. The stunt work and unconventional elements of the 1957 TV series Zorro in the 1957 TV series Zorro, starring Guy Williams, there were some remarkable aspects that made the show stand out. One notable feature was the abundance of sword fights and stunts. Guy Williams, who played the role of Zorro, performed many of these stunts himself, often without a stunt double. This dedication to realism led to some real-life injuries during the production. Williams' commitment to his role and the action sequences added an extra layer of authenticity to the show, keeping audiences engaged. Another interesting detail about the series is related to Zorro's trusty steed. In Los Angeles, California, Zorro's horse was named Tornado. However, when the action shifted to Monterey, Zorro rode a different horse, Phantom. This change in horses added a touch of realism to the series, as it made sense for a masked vigilante to have different horses in different locations, showcasing attention to detail. Lastly, Zorro made an unconventional move for its time by introducing a female version of the character named Senorita Mariana in one of the episodes. This gender-bending element was quite unusual in the 1950s, breaking with traditional gender roles and adding an unexpected twist to the series. It's a reminder of the show's willingness to experiment and explore new storylines. In conclusion, the 1957 TV series Zorro brought both thrills and surprises to its viewers. The stunts, injuries, changing horses, and the introduction of a female Zorro all contributed to the show's unique appeal, making it a memorable part of television history. Zorro was a 1957 TV series known for its action-packed sword fights and captivating storyline. It often faced censorship challenges due to its portrayal of violence. Disney worked closely with censors to make sure the sword fights and action sequences met broadcasting standards at the time. Henry Calvin, who played Sergeant Garcia in the series, had been blacklisted in Hollywood during the McCarthy era due to alleged communist sympathies. His role in Zorro helped revive his career. The show's influence can be seen in various fictional characters, including Marvel's Daredevil. Zorro's sense of justice and dual identity left a lasting impact on the superhero genre. In summary, Zorro faced censorship challenges. Henry Calvin's role in the series helped his career, and the show's influence can be seen in modern superheroes. It remains a significant part of television history.
Certainly, let's focus on the first idea about Disney Studios and the budget of the 1957 TV series Zorro. In 1957, Disney Studios produced the iconic TV series Zorro. The show became a sensation largely due to its swashbuckling action and captivating storyline. But behind the scenes, Disney was careful with their spending. Disney Studios allocated substantial budgets for Zorro, ensuring high production values. However, they also aimed to contain costs where it wouldn't affect the on-screen quality. To achieve this, directors often filmed portions of up to four episodes simultaneously when scenes shared common sets. While this approach helped with budget control, it presented challenges for the actors. Actors sometimes struggled to remember their character motivations as they shot scenes for different episodes in the same location. Despite these challenges, Zorro's success was undeniable, and it left an enduring mark on television history. It's fascinating how the combination of prudent budgeting and creative filmmaking contributed to the enduring popularity of the 1957 TV series, Zorro. And that's a brief look at how Disney Studios managed their budgets while producing the legendary Zorro series. For more exciting insights, stay tuned for more articles. In 1957, the TV series Zorro made its mark as a Disney produced hit. This show became the third Disney series airing in the same season, alongside the magical world of Disney and the Mickey Mouse Club. It was a time when the swashbuckling adventures of a masked hero captivated TV audiences. Now, let's delve into an interesting connection involving the show's lead, Guy Williams. He shared more with Zorro than you might think. Although initially, he might not have seemed the ideal choice for a Spanish hero, as he had Italian origins. His last name, Catalano, actually means originating from Catalonia, Spain. A bit of historical background reveals that a considerable number of Spaniards from Catalonia migrated to South Italy between the 11th and 13th centuries. This suggests that Guy Williams likely had ancestors from Catalonia, Spain, and his family tree's distant branches. If we were to explore his DNA, it's probable that it would indicate a predominant Spanish heritage with minimal, if any, Italian influence. Intriguingly, during a two-year lawsuit between Disney and ABC that temporarily halted the series' production, Disney maintained Guy Williams on full salary. This shows the commitment and value placed on their Zorro. Even when things went to court, the man behind the mask was not left in the lurch. Zorro of 1957 holds a special place in TV history, not just for its action and adventure, but for the surprising connections it had with its leading man, Guy Williams. The show's popularity and its enduring appeal continue to leave their mark on the world of television. As we bid adieu to our journey through the captivating world of the 1957 TV series Zorro, I invite you to pause and reflect on the special place this iconic show holds in your heart. Zorro, with his masked heroics and swashbuckling adventures, has left an indelible mark on the annals of television history. Perhaps it was the thrill of watching Don Diego de la Viga transform into the masked crusader right before your eyes, or the suspense of his daring escapades in the Spanish California of old that kept you spellbound. Zorro's pursuit of justice and his unwavering commitment to defending the oppressed served as a timeless reminder of the hero that resides within each of us. This is your moment to share your cherished memories, your favorite episodes, or the life lessons you gleaned from the series. Did you ever find yourself donning a makeshift mask and taking on the role of the valiant Zorro in your backyard adventures? Or did the theme music send shivers down your spine, sparking a sense of excitement that has endured through the years? Zorro has united generations with its enduring appeal, and your personal connection to this legendary show is a testament to its timelessness. Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and your affection for Zorro with us. Let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this masked vigilante together. Thank you for taking this nostalgic journey with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Now, let the memories flow and the stories be told. Zorro lives on in the hearts of those who believe in the power of justice and the indomitable spirit of a hero. Until next time, stay inspired and remember that the mark of Zorro remains etched in our souls. This unique and heartfelt outro was...